Sinead O'Connor better known as Shahada Sadakat was an Irish singer and musician. She gained international recognition with her debut studio album, The Lion and the Cobra, which was released in 1987. Her second album, I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got, 1990, received widespread acclaim and became a massive success, selling over 7 million copies worldwide. The album's lead single, Nothing Compares to You, was honored as the number one world single in 1990 by the Billboard Music Awards. Throughout her career, Shuhada Sadakat released a total of 10 studio albums, with notable successes including Am I Not Your Girl, 1992, and Universal Mother, 1994, both earning gold status in the UK. Faith and Courage, 2000, achieved gold status in Australia, and Throw Down Your Arms, 2005, reached gold status in Ireland. In addition to her music, she contributed to film soundtracks, collaborated with various artists, and performed at charity fundraising events. Her memoir, Rememberings, released in 2021, became a bestseller. Beyond her musical achievements, Shahada Sadakat was renowned for her candidness about her spiritual journey, activism, socio-political beliefs, as well as her struggles with trauma and mental health. In 1999, she was ordained as a priest by the Latin Tridentine Church, a sect not recognized by the mainstream Catholic Church. Throughout her life, she was an outspoken advocate on various issues, including child abuse, human rights, anti-racism, organized religion, and women's rights. In 2017, O'Connor changed her name to Magda David, and later, in 2018, after converting to Islam, she changed it to Shahada Sadakat. Despite these name changes, she continued to record and perform under her birth name, Sinead O'Connor. Awards and Honor She won a Grammy Award for Best Alternative Music Performance for her album I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got in 1991. She won three MTV Video Music Awards for her iconic video Nothing Compares to You in 1990, including Video of the Year, Best Female Video, and Best Postmodern Video. She was the first woman to win Video of the Year. She won a World Soundtrack Award and an Online Film and Television Association Award for Best Original Song Written for a Film for Lay Your Head Down from Albert Knobs in 2012. She won a Brit Award for International Female Solo Artist in 1991, beating out Mariah Carey, Nene Cherry, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, Madonna, and Tina Turner. She won a Cinema I Honors Award for the Unforgettables for her appearance in the documentary Nothing Compares in 2023. She was also nominated for several other awards, such as American Music Awards, Grammy Awards, more MTV Video Music Awards, and a TV Land Award. Sinead O'Connor's net worth in 2023, at the time of her death, was estimated at $1.5 million. However, it may have been considerably lower due to her controversies, mental health issues, and medical expenses. About Sinead O'Connor's early life O'Connor was born on December 8, 1966, at Cassia House Nursing Home in Dublin, located on Pembroke Road. She was given the name Sinead in honor of Sinead de Valera, the mother of the doctor overseeing her birth, Eamon de Valera, JNR, and was also named Bernadette to pay tribute to Saint Bernadette of Lourdes. She was the third child among five siblings, including Joseph, Emer, John, and Owen. Her parents were John Oliver, Sean, O'Connor, a former structural engineer turned barrister and chairperson of the Divorce Action Group, and Johanna Marie O'Grady, whom he married in 1960 at the Church of Our Lady of Good Counsel, Drimna, Dublin. In 1979, O'Connor left her mother's home and moved to live with her father, who had married Viola Margaret Souter in Alexandria, Virginia, USA, three years earlier in 1976. At the age of 15, O'Connor's shoplifting and truancy issues led her to be placed in a Magdalene asylum named the Griannon Training Center, operated by the Order of Our Lady of Charity, for 18 months. While there, she found some positive aspects, 
particularly in developing her writing and music skills, but also struggled with the enforced conformity. Sometimes unruly students at the center were sent to sleep in the adjacent nursing home, an experience that left her traumatized. Tragedy struck when O'Connor's mother, Marie, passed away in a car accident on February 10, 1985, at the age of 45. The accident occurred when she lost control of her car on an icy road and collided with a bus. At the time of the accident, O'Connor was 18 years old. In June 1993, O'Connor wrote a public letter published in the Irish Times, appealing to people to stop hurting her. In the letter, she recounted accusations of abuse suffered during her childhood, which she had previously shared in interviews. Her brother Joseph defended their father in the newspaper but acknowledged their mother's extreme and violent abuse, both emotional and physical. O'Connor described her family as deeply troubled, unable to communicate effectively, and expressed her emotional pain. Sinead O'Connor's Personal Life In 2017, she decided to change her legal name to Magda David, expressing her desire to be liberated from what she considered patriarchal and oppressive names. She sought to break free from the parental curses associated with her previous name. Subsequently, after converting to Islam in October 2018, she adopted the name Shahada and later changed her surname to Sadaqat before mid-2019. Regarding her image, O'Connor initially shaved her head as a statement against traditional gender norms. Although she briefly grew her hair back, she ultimately preferred her head shaved, saying it made her feel like herself, even as an older woman. Throughout her life, O'Connor had four children and went through four marriages and divorces. Her first child, Jake, was born in 1987 during her marriage to music producer John Reynolds. They later married in 1989 but announced their plan to divorce in 1991. Her daughter, Brigidine Royson Waters, was born in 1996 during her relationship with Irish journalist John Waters, with whom she had a custody battle. In 2001, she married British journalist Nick Somerlad, but their marriage ended in 2002. Her third child, son Shane, was born in 2004 with musician Donald Lunny, and in 2006, she had her fourth child, Yeshua Francis Neil Benadio, with Frank Benadio. She married Steve Cooney in 2010 but separated the following year. Her fourth marriage was to Barry Herridge in 2011, but it ended after only seven days of living together. She also became a grandmother when her son Jake Reynolds had a child. Regarding her sexuality, she identified herself as a lesbian in 2000 but later described herself as three-quarters heterosexual, a quarter gay, in 2005. O'Connor penned an open letter to Miley Cyrus in 2013, addressing issues of women's treatment in the music industry, including sexuality. In terms of politics, O'Connor was a vocal supporter of a united Ireland and joined the left-wing Republican Sinn Féin party. She advocated for the dissolution of the Republic of Ireland and the establishment of a new united country. O'Connor also expressed her opinion that Ireland would have been better off remaining under British rule, as the Church took over the country after independence. She was critical of the Catholic Church, particularly concerning its handling of sexual abuse scandals, and eventually converted to Islam in 2018, adopting the name Shuhada. About Sinead O'Connor's career She was a remarkable and influential one, but also a controversial and troubled one. She started her career in the mid-1980s, joining a band called Tun Tun Makut and recording a song with the edge of U2. She released her debut album The Lion and the Cobra in 1987, which was certified gold and nominated for a Grammy Award. Her second album I Do Not Want What I Haven't Got in 1990 was a huge success, thanks to her cover of Nothing Compares to You, written by Prince. The song reached number one in many countries and won several awards, including a Grammy Award for Best Alternative Music Performance. She also won three MTV Video Music Awards for her iconic video Nothing Compares to You in 1990, including Video of the Year, 
becoming the first woman to win that award. However, her career was affected by her infamous appearance on Saturday Night Live in 1992, where she ripped up a picture of Pope John Paul II as a protest against child sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. She was banned by NBC and faced backlash from the public and the music industry. She later explained that it was also a way of coming to terms with her mother's death, as a photo of the Pope was the only photo her abusive mother kept in her bedroom. She continued to release music, but none of her albums matched the success of her first two. She also struggled with bipolar disorder, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, borderline personality disorder, gallstones, and endometriosis. She underwent a hysterectomy in 2015, which worsened her mental health. She also converted to Islam in 2018 and changed her name to Shahada Sadaqat. She released 10 studio albums in total, as well as songs for films, collaborations with other artists, and appearances at charity concerts. Her last album was No Mud No Lotus, released in 2021. Her memoir Rememberings was published in June 2021 and became a bestseller. She was widely respected and admired by her peers and fans for her musical talent and her activism. She spoke out on issues related to child abuse, human rights, anti-racism, organized religion, and women's rights. She was ranked number 35 on VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll list in 1999. She was praised for her authenticity and her beautiful, unique voice by Irish President Michael D. Higgins. Illness and Death O'Connor faced various health challenges, including fibromyalgia in the early 2000s, which led her to take a break from music. She disclosed that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 1999, which she later clarified after seeking second opinions. Additionally, she was diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder and borderline personality disorder. She underwent a hysterectomy in 2015, and she attributed her subsequent mental health struggles to the lack of hormonal replacement therapy. She also sought rehabilitation to overcome her addiction to cannabis and battled agoraphobia. Tragically, on July 26, 2023, at the age of 56, O'Connor passed away. The family did not disclose the cause of death. Rest in peace Sinead O'Connor you will be surely missed. Thank you for watching, for more content like this, subscribe and click on the bell icon.